afternoon, Rob Parker from Peach Software and today we're going to go through workshop in Peach V12. If some of the options that I'm going to show you are not available in your software and you do want to use them then please give Peach Support a call and they can turn some options on in the background for you and help you set it up. Workshop's been around for some time in our V9 version. In V12 uh, it's just relatively new and many of our clients are already using Workshop uh, whether it be for vehicles or machinery or any other type of equipment. Once Workshop's activated in your software, it'll appear in the left-hand menu here. So if you just scroll down and you go to Workshop, that comes up with the task menu and focuses on the Workshop tab. Uh, as we look in the icons here, you've got Workshop Control, and then you can start a job by either doing a quote or a job card. Then you convert those to an invoice, You've got your workshop credit note, mechanic setup, makes and models, which we can give you a database to import into your makes and models, but you can also add your own to that. Standard templates, this is what we used to call standard service, uh, but basically you can set up a standard set of information for a service, including labour, and bring that straight into your job card. Uh, then your booking form, which is a new part of the software, and a uh, change rego number of course. So here's the workshop control screen. You can see up here it's got the vehicle or the machinery information. It's got the owner which is a customer in the, in the system, uh, the contacts in regard to that customer and any additional information. Uh, you've got notes here on the actual vehicle. Uh, you've got service notes, things that have been done to it or what's going to be done next and you've got other which is some customizable fields you can uh, put in the system if you want to. Once you go into edit mode uh, you can drop down these are all combo box boxes now and you can select the make the model uh, you can select uh, different colors you can add more colors to these drop downs uh, what type of vehicle it is uh, what type of fuel etc uh, so all these things are new in V12, they're all drop down, so it's all validated screens for you. Now the screen looks very similar to our other control screens. Going down the left here, many of the functions are the same. So you've got your F2 to turn the edit on and off, F3 to take your cursor up to the top and do a search for another vehicle, uh, F4 to open and close your notes, transactions, F5 to look up transaction history for this vehicle, graph. Uh, job so this is where you would, you would initiate a job card for this vehicle and this is where you would initiate an invoice if you were to do one uh, you can delete the vehicle if it's got no history for 24 months uh, you can add a new one and you can open the booking form which is as I said a new feature which I'll show you just a little bit later now in workshop the workshop quote job card and invoice screens are very similar so we'll just jump straight to job card and we'll have a look at that screen so here's where you can uh, search for a vehicle. So I've got a vehicle with the registration starting with LAR. I'll bring that up. And it brings up the credit details for the customer who that vehicle belongs to. And then it comes up with any jobs that are already created for that vehicle or in progress. From this screen, I can also view any quotes for that vehicle that are outstanding, any invoices, that have been done for the vehicle and I can go through those and I can see what the details are on the right for those. I can view and print uh, invoices uh, and I can also uh, delete uh, a quote or a job card if I want to. <clears throat> the retrieve parts in a new transaction is used where you've got an existing invoice and you want to start a new invoice uh, with, uh, with the same parts. So you can basically select one of those invoices, retrieve parts into a new transaction Press OK and, uh, and that's what it'll do for you. It'll get it ready with the parts from the previous transaction for the, well, the one that you've selected. So in the job card, you can see the vehicle and you can see the customer that the vehicle belongs to. Uh, in Peach, the customer and the vehicle are two different entities so that later on, if the customer sells that vehicle to someone else, you can transfer the vehicle to another customer or you can put a new vehicle or more than one vehicle against that one customer. Each time you do work on any of their vehicles or machinery parts, you can bill it to that customer. Of course, also you've got the branch that you're in and uh, you've got service and you've got your parts side. So these are considered as labor 
and this is considered as parts. And you can add more parts if you like. There's just the regular parts lookup. So I can look up, let's say, dot uh, oil uh, filter. And it'll come up with all the parts with the word oil filter somewhere in the description. So I just choose which one I want, enter, and it brings that part into the screen for me and pops up any product notes uh, that I may need to see. The job card or the workshop uh, invoice or the quotation screen, as I said, are all very similar and they're similar to a normal invoice screen. The biggest difference, of course, is that this one has the service side. Uh, but it's got the same type of icons along the bottom. You've got your options here, so all your standard options that you might want to have a look at. Uh, you can bring in a standard service. You can retrieve an older transaction, and F3 takes you back up to the search to find another vehicle. Down in the left-hand corner here, you've got your hours. You've got your product details. So while we're focused on a product, we can see what the pricing is, what group it's in, and so forth. Uh, and then you've got your delivery information down there if you're actually going to be sending the goods back to the customer. Standard service is a pretty popular uh, item here. So standard services uh, you can set up. We can actually set it up here. We can add new standard services if we like. But basically I've got one here called Service 3. Uh, it's a brake and safety check. Uh, it's got the parts down here and it's all got, also got labour. So if you want to add a labour line into a standard service, you just skip the part number and you just type in what the labour is and the quantity and the price. So I'll just OK to that and it brings it into the system for you. So there's your parts list that have just come from the standard service and there's the labour that came across. So a couple of other fields you may want to have a look at. You can put the number of kilometres that the car's travelled, estimated hours for this job and the job summary uh, and then you can update and then you can select a status for this. So it might be waiting for parts, customer to confirm or finalise job. So sometimes you might have a finalised job but you don't want to invoice it until the customer arrives because you don't know how they're going to pay for it. So that's why we've put that status there. And of course you've got all your printing options and your payment types if it's a cash customer. If it's an account customer, it'll automatically just go to the account. Also, if you want to change the status of this transaction, if I've opened up a job card and processed it, I can update it as a job card, I can update it as a credit note, an invoice, or a quotation. I can make that choice here in the update screen. One of the biggest improvements of Workshop in V12 is this booking icon. So you used to have to go to job card and then start the job from there. You don't need to do that anymore. You can just simply click the booking when you've got the customer on the phone and you can then uh, find the vehicle or you can add a new vehicle at this point. So I might just add a new vehicle. To do that, I'll just search for the vehicle first. So the customer gives me their rego, paper, rego plate number and I can't find it. So we'll add that. And here we go. We can add the vehicle straight in here. You can put your make and model, body type, and we can put all the other information here. We have to put in who it belongs to, so we'll just put one of our customer codes here. There's the customer we want to belong to, and add, and that's it. The vehicle's in the system. Now we estimate, uh, after we've discussed with the customer, we estimate that it's going to take two hours uh, and what day should we put it on? So where are you going to put it on? Next Wednesday, job summary, uh, check breaks, and service notes. And there you have it. So now that booking's made, and it now appears in your calendar. So once you go through your calendar, you can now put jobs in there so you can see what days are busy, what days aren't busy, what you can add to your calendar. And you've got a weekly view here as well. So you can go from one week to the next and you can see what jobs you've got on and the estimated hours for those jobs. So that's a great new feature in V12. And finally, back to the control screen now, uh, you've got your mechanics set up so you can set up all your mechanics and what rate they get paid at or what they get charged out at. Uh, you can put in your makes and models. So here we've got a preset uh, database of makes and models. It's probably a little out of date, so you can add the new ones if you wish. 
Uh, and then you've got your standard templates. As I said, this is like a standard service to machinery or to a vehicle, and you can have as many of those as you like. To get to a standard service or to get a standard service into your job card quickly, you just hit it with forward slash and the service code, and that'll throw it straight into your screen for you with your parts and labour. And of course, change radio number. So you may have a customer who updates their plates. So there you have it. That's our new workshop in V12. Uh, I hope that's nice and clear. If you have any questions, feel free to call Peach Support. That's what they're there for. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll get some good use out of that. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.